Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, it's 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. The sun is in my eyes, that's why I'm squinting. Let's go ahead and make a bow drill friction fire out of this Virginia pine that I just found. Only using the utility knife. This is the same knife we used, um, I guess last month, where I said you should be packing a utility knife because they only cost a dollar at the flea market. So therefore you could put one in all your packs and in your car and in your house. It'd be a great standby knife. And I'm gonna prove that to you this morning. Well, first of all, let's break off all of these branches and we'll use them for kindling. Now that is not a good sign when this branch won't snap right off like it ought to. But we are committed, so let's go ahead and see if we can make this Virginia pine produce bow drill friction fire. Saving this for the fire. Now for a good straight spindle. Let's go right here, from here to here. Right there. Should be able to cut that little bit of a bow out of there. make cuts all the way around it in this direction. Then we'll come back the other way and make cuts. I think I need to weaken it a little bit more. Let's go back around from this direction. Should break off right there. We'll save this for the fireboard. Alright. Right here at this branch. And then break that off. Let's go ahead and turn it into a spindle. I see a bow right there, so we'll take off from this end and this end. And then of course, we'll come over to this hump and take off that a flat right in the middle. That looks pretty true. I did not go to square first as I usually do. So the hardest end for the bearing block. I think both ends are about the same. Let's take this smaller diameter end. We'll use that for the bearing block. Just making sure that my point is on center line with the rest of the spindle. Now, let's do the hot end. I'm going to come down a quarter of an inch, do facets all the way around. Come up an eighth inch, do facets all the way around. Come up to a sixteenth, do facets all the way around. Right. 
That's an eight inch spindle. I prefer a 10 inch or, or longer spindle. We'll go ahead and make this work. Now for the fireboard. I need something at least three quarters of an inch wide on the fireboard. I'm going to use this termite eaten section of the branch. Now, I can't see very well through this viewfinder. I think I got a good shot of it there. And this is termite eaten and very soft, but I think it'll work. Let's give it a try. Let's go for a burn in. Virginia pine on Virginia pine. Loblolly pine needles for a tender bundle. Um, Virginia pine kindling, fatwood barren rock. You see how loose I have my spindle in there? You should not load your spindle tight in a bowstring because you always have the option of using your thumb to tighten it up. It does not take much deflection here to get enough tightness on the spindle. All right, here goes the burn in. I have to lean this one, make it stay in the, stay in the divot. Might be too soft. I guess that's too soft. Let's try it over here where it's harder. Now let's try that. All right, let's try this, did it. See if it's gonna hold together for us. Yeah. Let's cut a notch now. I would use the utility knife to cut that notch, but I need to get my camera out of the sun. If it overheats, it'll cut off and I'll lose the video. Round fireboard. This time I don't want to save that dust because there's probably moisture in it. We'll make all new dust.
that. All right, here's the barren block end. And Spindle. And round fireboard. I hope we're focusing this time. The last Bojo video I made, none of this was was in focus. You know, if you accidentally touch the screen when you're setting up the iPhone, it locks it into whatever it's focused on. And it was probably locked into a focus right here. So everything that I tried to do a close-up on was just out of focus. Let's get this done before my phone heats up in this direct sunlight. Let's let the wind bring it to flames. Worked out great. Just one more reason to pack carry a utility knife. They're inexpensive and they can be in every single one of your packs and glove boxes and trunks and in the attic. It's a great tool. Hi, right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.